YouTube. Exo here. Uh, coming in with another video today before we get into it. Just want to throw out this uh, Aptoid code. Promo code EVANY06, all capitals, on um, May 16th. They're doing a special event, which will be another 10% back. So, with this code and that special event, you could get up to 36% cash back to use towards more um, packs. So, just pass this along to your friends, your Alliance members. Share it to your, um, share it to them. Share them around your Discord. And here's quick instructions on how to do it along with this video on my channel. So, I'm going to just go ahead and hop over the game. And today, um, this is going to be part two of the medium impacts on increasing your buffs. Um, first off, we'll start with your subsidies. Um, if you click here on preview, <coughs> you can see what each subsidy does by just clicking the icons. For PvP, if you're a big attacker, you want Japan's. Higher the color, the better. So golds will give 10% attack each. So you could have up to 90% attack just off your Japan's. Um, if you're more defensive, you could get a Russia. And that would give you 10% in-city troop attack. And then also trap attack. And on the... Yeah, on the Japan, it's only this, this one. So... Uh, you definitely want to get... Um, as many golds as you can purples golds and then this is your main city that you start with that's and this is under your culture you can click on your keep and go culture and you can set it to japan or russia however however you're doing if you're attacking a lot you set japan if you're defending go to russia um, and then you can level that up right there um, I've got mine to purple. I haven't haven't wanted to spend two and a half million gems to get another two percent. Um, purple is eight, gold is ten, so two percent for two and a half million gems to me is not uh, not worth it right now. I just don't have the, the gems for that. Moving on, we'll go into generals. Your duty officers is a big place that you can gain buffs. As you can see, um, if you as long if you have them on, let me pick this one. Ashoka. If say you have Ashoka on your keep, um, the main skill is Wise Emperor and increases your range troop attack, but also decreases enemy ground HP. And then you can star them to gain more percentage. So suggest getting in the tavern. A lot of these are free out of the tavern there's a few like ashoka and maurice and these two guys down here at the bottom that guy and this guy the rest of these are free to play in the tavern and they all give something for defense and attack so i'd suggest getting in the tavern and spinning and try to get those and level those up with stars but even as one you know um, a five star you still gain that buff Next thing is art hall, your art treasures. You want to be getting as many of these done and leveling them up because there's a. It's not a whole whole lot, but it does add up. Um, each one of these has some kind of buff in it. Um, there's HP. There's in city attack. There's training speeds. There's monster speeds. There's in city HP. There's this, it's there's stuff all through here for that. So you want to get in there, get as many of those art treasures as you can. Next to be the sieve treasures and the wonder. Um, come through, you start at level one, and you want to upgrade these. Each of them has a specific thing. Just to own it, you gain buffs. And pretty much all of them give some kind of a PvP buff. Um, 
and then if you use it you gain this act used to activate so like when i train troops i, I swap over to the sword to gain 15 percent training speed generally i stick on the monster unless it's battlefield then i put this on for the healing speed all right and then another big thing is your monarch gear up here um, what you have equipped will um, coordinate with your buff so if you have like when I'm in a range rally I swap over to my range preset and these first the top four in this first one is the old school this the new daggers um, they're great but like my wind staff is a little better than the dagger but come through here make you some presets kind of like I have ground attack defense siege mounted etc you want to get these high higher up and if you compose them every level that goes up a little more um, so the higher level you get the better these are and they're they're expensive to do take some time but it's definitely worth it there's attack there's um, the HP and then there's the defense there's also uh, you want to put like your mark speed one on and then also the new are these Globius um, debuff ones so if you get any of these you want to you know like if I was gonna for my let's see when I ground hit I would um, generally debuff probably like range troop attack if I'm doing a ground so that's how I'd have mine set up all right we'll move on from this to your monarch talents it's actually in the same spot um, you want to go down through here picking up things like the sub troop attack each sub troop can boost your attack by four percent so you got nine of them that'd be 36 percent fatal strike you're in city HPs, 8%. For each sub, you can gain HP, 2%. In city attack, 5%. And then there's the sub city troop defense one. So you want to make sure when you're doing PvP, get these kind of set up. If you're level 40, that's how this is how I set up my talents. All right. Next thing would be. Um, should have tied this in with dragons but your spiritual beast um like if you have second generals third generals things like that you might want to use some of these like i have ludwig as my second ground so i and but i don't have a second ground dragon so i put lord of lava on him and he gains these percentages so at level 15 it's 42 percent my mordred he gains 52 percent mounted attack defense and HP from having bird of hurricane um, some of these are real good like the new siren she's real good to have on a sub city for the enemy range troop attack debuff um, so just go through look see what you got uh, if you have a dragon dragons are always better because they they typically will give a lot more because of their fines but also the general attributes um, that counts as some also so spiritual beasts are early game and also for second generals if you don't have enough dragons next thing would be vip um, as you move up vip you can gain a little bit of attack hp and defense um, towards the bottom so like if you're vip for and actually this starts at VIP 16 I believe it is you gain HP and defense so um, that one's kind of for the big coiners another thing is city decor keep so if you have um, like I, I use the all-stars keep just owning it activates that enemy ground troop debuff 
but if I use it, I gain mounted attack, XP, and defense. And then there's, if you don't have the champion keeps, you can go collection, and there's a bunch under here that have, have different ones. Also have this Colossus that's for ground. And then the new, let's see, this one, which is for ground and mounted HP and city. Um, another thing to give some buffs is your Alliance Science. If you come in here, like there's ground troop defense, mounted troop defense, ranged troop defense. So you're, you want to get your Alliance, you want to be in Alliance, but you also want to get your Alliance working on these to get their buffs up. Also these um, Alliance skills, you activate this mighty force, your whole Alliance gains another 10% attack for 60 minutes. So that's good to pop right before battlefield. Um, come in here to shrine. There's some buffs here. The higher the sh shrine, the better the buffs. You can see if I'll for 18 more times, I can activate this 25% range, siege, mounted, and ground attack. So right before battlefield, I come in here and I'll for you know, the amount of times I need to to gain those 25%. Um, I don't have don't have a screenshot of it right now, but Battlefield Buildings, let me see, they give um, percentage. Yeah, so like the Blessing Tower, that'll give your whole alliance 20% attack and defense. So if you, if you occupy it and hold it, that'll give you some buffs. Also... Come over here to city buffs, um, your troop attack, HP, and defense. You want to activate these. You can get anywhere from 10%, 20%, 30%, or 50 The 50 is nice for like, if you're just hitting world boss real quick and you want to try to get a better, better hit, or if you're just hopping over and... Hitting somebody on an SVS and you, you would just want to have the extra buff, just pop a 10 minute 50% buff, jump over, hit them, come back to your server bubble. Um, the 30% and the 20% are good for when you're in the battlefield, you use two of them for the two hours. So that's what I, I normally do. Also, another last thing is there's titles in the throne so you go to city throne blue titles and you can ask the, whoever the king is to give you um, a title so like prince will give you some attacking buff some hp and defense princess will give you in city um, imperial guard to give you some in city hp some mark speed some troop attack and defense things like that so um, i believe that's all um off the top of my head that I I can think of for come on all these events popping up it's getting I'm ready for this this event to get done with it's it's getting old every time you come back into your keep it pops up but yeah that's um, a lot of the, pretty much all the buffs that I can think of um, the big ones are like I said this offering shrine um, your art hall treasures your duty generals your um, subsidies your civ treasure things like that so if anybody's got any comments questions just post them down below i will answer them when i um, see them i try to get to every comment that is put on the channel so if anybody has anything just leave it down below and i will um, catch y'all on the next one see ya